second webinar uh, on universal logic. I am very honored and pleased to welcome all of you and especially our speakers, Professor Ioannis Vandulakis from Hellenic Open University and Professor Jean Basio from uh, Brazil. And I'm really, really happy to be uh, your chair. Um, my, let me present myself. My name is Katarzyna Gangshubosheska and I was involved for um, yeah, exactly 10 years in the organization of Unilog congresses and schools and many events, also Square of Opposition. So from the very beginning I was uh, in this project and I'm so happy to see how it's flourishing and getting even bigger, even though it was huge from the beginning. And I'm very uh, happy to be your chair. Let me uh, tell you about the organization of this webinar. First, Professor Yanis Vandulakis will speak about, uh, you know, as a co-chair of the seventh uh, uh, Congress, Unilog School and Congress that will take place in 2022 in uh, Crete, in the Orthodox uh, University. And also, uh, a, I will first, I will present briefly Professor Vandulakis, then he will speak about uh, this event and uh, logical events in uh, Greece and Crete in particular. Then Professor Jean Bazio, after also my brief presentation, uh, may be unnecessary, but you know, for the future generations, uh, I will present. And Professor Bazio will speak about uh, the seven. Uh, this uh, Congress when you look and project and a logical crisis. And then we will have time, at least 15, 20 minutes for questions. And as I said, please uh, raise your hand in this um, Zoom reactions for questions. Also, you can uh, write your questions in the chat and we will have uh, enough time. We are not restricted for uh, I think and I hope a uh, fruitful and interesting discussion. So, our first speaker, Professor Ioannis Vandulakis, is a professor at Hellenic Open uh, University. He's involved for since many years in the organization of events and he participated in many Unilog and Square of Oppositions uh, events in 2018. Sixth uh, Congress, World Congress on Square of Opposition took place in Crete uh, and in Greece, and he was a co chair of the organizing committee. And since it was huge success, now the next um, uh, Unilog, Unilog Congress will also take place in April, in the beginning of April, since 1st to 11th, uh, to, uh, 2022. Professor Ioannis Vandulakis was, uh, let me uh, just tell you that he was also a visiting professor in Pern University in Hagen in Germany and also in Federal University of Rio de Janeiro and collaborated in many universities in Europe and, and abroad. His main areas of specialization are logic, philosophy of logic, philosophy of mathematics, but also ancient Greek and Roman philosophy and theories of truth and his areas of interest are also even more uh, diverse it's metaphilosophy semiotics uh, even you know uh, historiography education and so you know if you have we have time for question you can really really uh, benefit from this and uh, uh, I would like to say that uh, he is really uh, interested in and work, uh, his uh, scientific and organizational work is really impressive and I don't, I want to uh, now give him a, a very cordial welcome and let's listen about these wonderful events. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Thank you, 
uh, Zandniv uh, for the invitation uh, to this meeting. Uh, I will try to explain uh, about the next uh, Uniloc uh, Congress and school. Uh, this uh, event was postponed to the next year because of the pandemic. We decided not to go uh, online to an online uh, version of the event because uh, uh, live meetings always are, are very fruitful and uh, interaction, live interaction uh, uh, on site uh, are uh, or, or always uh, give uh, new uh, perspectives and uh, new, uh, uh, new ways of collaboration. Uh, let me uh, show some uh, uh, slides uh, together with my talk. Um, so, You see here the the web space of uh, the event. Okay, this is the uh, the first page of the the home page of uh, our event. Uh, this will uh, be on April. Uh, 2022 and uh, you can find more information of course in on the web page I just uh, outlined some main points as you know this is a series of uh, world events um, started uh, in 2005 in Monterey Switzerland uh, the home place of Zaniv uh, the born place, yes, uh, it gathered many famous researchers and uh, it continues to gather many uh, notable, uh, outstanding uh, scholars. Uniloc promotes logic in all its aspects, mathematical, philosophy, computational, semiological, historical, and the relation between logic and other fields, physics, biology, economics, etc. Uh, the format of the event is a, a combination of a congress and a school. So uh, the school has tutorials and uh, as we'll see and the congress has sessions uh, and uh, individual uh, contributions. And there is also a secret speaker and uh, a World Logic uh, Prize uh, competition. Let's have a brief uh, look at uh, the history of the Unilog. Uh, these are the home pages of all uh, Universal Logic uh, events uh, that uh, uh, have been held uh, since now. Um, it always, as you see, it uh, has the format of a conference and school, of congress and school. And uh, this uh, events, this series of events is produced by Logica Universalis Association, that is a logic organization promoting logic worldwide. Maybe uh, Zanif can talk about this uh, association in, in more detail later. And let's have a look now uh, about uh, this uh, event. This will be a school that we have, we expect to have about 30 tutorials on all aspects of logic. Each tutorial will have a duration of three hours 
displayed in three sessions presented in three different days. And so the school begins uh, usually with a round table discussing the question, why study logic? The Congress, lasts for six days. Uh, and uh, there is uh, there are plenary talks by invited uh, keynote speakers. Uh, there are uh, contributing uh, speakers. Uh, and there is uh, a series of workshops on different uh, areas of uh, logic. Uh, and uh, there is the contest on logic prices and the, a talk usually at the, at the end uh, of a secret speaker, that is a speaker whose name is revealed only at the time of his talk. The committees of this event is Mr. Bezio, and this, these are uh, the local uh, committee, the, member of the members of the local committees. Uh, you can see I'm here and before the end. And the scientific committee, it's too long. Uh, you know more, most of these uh, scholars are well known. Now, uh, there is also the logic uh, prizes contest. And uh, this is a competition that uh, takes place during the Unilog uh, events uh, between winners of logic prizes from many uh, countries. And each winner of a given country will have 30 minutes, including discussion, to present the work for which he or she has won the prize in his or her country. A jury of about 10 important logicians from all over the world will, at the end of the presentations, decide who is the winner of the Universal Logic Prize. Concerning the location, this will be in the Orthodox Academy of Crete. Uh, it can be asked as a, ask, assessed uh, quite uh, easily from the airport of Hanya, the, uh, which is uh, the nearest airport uh, to, to the location of the uh, conference. Uh, it takes about 40 minutes to go uh, Colimbari, which is the, the city, the town uh, where the academy is located. Why we chose Crete? Possibly you know that uh, Epimenides the Cretan was from Crete, maybe not from Kanya, but uh, from Crete. Uh, his name became associated with the Epimenides paradox, variation of the liar paradox. According to Diogenes Laertius, Epimenides met Pythagoras in Crete and went, to, went together to the cave of Ida. The Orthodox Academy is a, was created in 1968. It is. Uh, it has the uh, most, uh, the, the best conference uh, room in uh, in Crete. Uh, there uh, are regularly held uh, held uh, events by CERN by uh, international uh, conferences 
of, uh, on uh, environmental studies, on biology, and many other fields. It is a research, education, and, and conference center. And uh, it is inspired by a philosophy of uh, the Platonic uh, tradition, that the philosophy of, of sin philosophy, that is philosophizing together. Join uh, inquiry. The Academy hosts also a very uh, exceptional museum of Cretan herbs. Uh, it is, it, this includes about 6,000 herbs of the collection of gathered by the French uh, professor of botany, Jacques Zafran. And uh, among these herbs, one can find uh, herbs that uh, are mentioned by Aristotle and Theophrastus and other ancient authors. Colimbari is quite near from Hanya, which is uh, a, a, a old city, an old Venetian town and the labor uh, and the harbor of uh, Hanya. Uh, Hanya is uh, a continuation of an ancient city named Kidonia, whose foundation dates to the late Neolithic times. The harbor uh, was built by the Venetians between 1320 and 1356. And uh, the harbor, uh, if you walk uh, around the harbor, adds to a very uh, uh, an amazing lighthouse, very fascinating, uh, that was built by the Venetians uh, in. Uh, 1570 and reconstructed by the Egyptians uh, during the decade of uh, 1830 and has a peculiar shape of a minaret that is preserved at the, until today. It is not working today. However, Hanya, uh, in Hanya, you can find many lawyers of uh, cultural influence. Uh, you can uh, see the Venetian architecture. Uh, it is uh, very visible, quite visible in many monuments uh, and many streets in Hanya. Uh, but and uh, except besides the Venetian influence, there is a Jewish quarter and a Turkish uh, part with the impressive mosque of Kutsuk Hassan, which is the oldest Ottoman building in Crete erected in 1645. A very uh, interesting point for a panoramic view of Hanya is uh, the cemetery of the, the Venzelos family. But uh, this, uh, this uh, place has uh, also some uh, relevance to history of science because Venzelos uh, was a Greek statement that uh, achieved the union of uh, Crete with Greece, but also uh, invited Constantine Karathodori to organize the Greek university. This fact is less known to the uh, academic community. So, Venizelos invited uh, Karathodori, uh, you see Venizelos from the left, Karathodori on the right, uh, in uh, 1911 to organize the Athens University, and in 1920 to establish the Ionian University of Smyrna in Asia Minor. This, uh, the latter university was closed in the uh, 23rd of August, 1922, just before the Smyrna catastrophe in September. But Karasodori left an important impact uh, on Greek academic life uh, by supporting another distinguished, uh, distinguished uh, mathematician, Christos Papakiriakopoulos, 
to take his doctorate in topology in Athens University in 1943 under very difficult circumstances. Uh, in the right picture, you see a picture of uh, the Ionian University of Smyrna. So uh, I would like to welcome you uh, to Colibari. This uh, picture is a panoramic view uh, from the academy, exactly from the point where the, the, the food will be served uh, every day. So you will have every day during lunch and dinner this view. This is the, uh, this, so you can see uh, until Hanya. And uh, the, the food, I have to, to, know, to note that the food will be Cretan food, because uh, in the academy, only Cretan food is prepared. And I hope that we, you will be uh, and enjoy uh, this your stay there. Thank you very much. Maybe uh, Zanif has had something. Uh, thank you very much, Professor Vandulakis, for this beautiful presentation. If, you know, someone has ever doubt uh, about going to Crete, I really don't understand it now. It's such a beautiful place and yeah and uh, now before uh, Professor Bezio presentation let me say a few words I know that all of the participants know very well but you know maybe for someone watching in YouTube let me say a few words about very 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 long CV uh, of Professor Bezio so just a few points. He's the most important person and we owe him all universal uh, logic project. He, uh, as you know, he is French, Swiss and French nationalities. Uh, he was living in France, Switzerland, Poland, uh, California, Corsica, Brazil, so all over the world. He's always traveling, organizing world events. Uh, uh, thanks to him, we have a World Logic Day celebrated on January 14, now in the UNESCO calendar officially. Uh, he's editor in chief and founder uh, of Journal Logica Universalis and organizers of this webinars, every Unilog Congress, uh, Square of Opposition, uh, Logic in Question, World Logic on Congress. A World Congress on Logic and Religion, uh, events about imaginations, uh, art, everything really. Uh, and he um, he works in logic, as you know, paraconsistent logic, square proposition. Uh, he holds PhD in philosophy from Pantheon Sorbonne University and uh, PhD in philosophy from Sao Paulo University. And I really uh, just want to tell that it's amazing how uh, how many events, publications, uh, Professor Bezio uh, already has done, and he seems to be speeding up. So really, <laughs> brace yourself for the next uh, decades. And uh, please. Uh, uh, Welcome the presentation of Professor Jean Fuzio about uh, this uh, Unilog Congress logical crisis in this. Okay, so I, I was hearing what Johannes was talking about, and that it, this was very nice. Uh, all what he was talking about, very important, of course. And I'm happy uh, about this talk because. Uh, he gave a lot of information, so I don't, I don't need to repeat this information. Now, what I want to say, uh, now I am awake, you know? sorry about that, now, now, now I am awake. Uh, what I want to say, 
is that, uh, well, uh, we are Unilog. It's a big uh, event uh, dedicated to logic. Yes, dedicated to logic. So it's a very big event to dedicated to logic. And this is very important because uh, nowadays uh, Unilog, um, it's the main event in logic in the world. We start in 2005 in Montreal, Switzerland, which is a very beautiful place, of course. And uh, at this time, uh, people were telling me, well, uh, uh, will, you, uh, will you organize the event every year in Montreal? Well, I say, why not? But Montreal is also very famous. It's a very famous time because of the festival of music and we, we don't want, uh, so it's, uh, uh, we, it's difficult to compete, you know, difficult to compete with the festival of music. Huh? And um, it's difficult to compete with the festival of music. And um, I like the idea. And at uh, this time I was also leaving Switzerland because I was uh, going outside of Switzerland. And I think it was a very good idea to have this event in many different places in the world because uh, we want to have uh, an event which is really representing all the people, all the tendency in the world. So this is a, a fact to have this, all these representative people of different country in the world. So we organized the first edition in Montreux, then the second edition in China, which is a big country, as everybody know, and then a third edition in Lisbon, next one in Brazil, and the fifth edition in Istanbul. And then the sixth edition in uh, France, in Vichy, which was a really a big success for a different reason, because um, Vichy is a really nice town. Uh, French is at the middle of Europe. So it's a place where uh, we, can, we can ask the people who are here, no? how, how, how they like the, the how they like the Congress, the event in Vichy. I think it was really interesting um, place. And now Crete, of course, it's incredible because it's a really incredible place because uh, it's uh, the basis of uh, uh, Occidental civilization. I have been there uh, two years ago and uh, it's really a very important place for uh, the culture of mathematics, philosophy, science. So I'm very happy uh, that the event will, uh, uh, will uh, take place in, um, in Crete and uh, to have this organization with uh, Johannes because he know very much the place. He himself is from Crete. So what, what can we say? No? You know the place, you know everything from there. So uh, it will be, I'm sure it will be a very great event. Now let me explain you, uh, Unilog, because sometimes people don't understand. Since the beginning of the, since the beginning of the event, uh, we had the, we decide to uh, have at the same time a congress and a school. Yeah. And for me, these two things are important because the school, people need to know more logic. And uh, at, the, at the university, well, uh, there are different class. We know that logic is something which is a bit isolated, no? So it's something which is a bit isolated at, at university in the world. So it's not easy to have some class about all the aspect of logic. So it's the opportunity to know that people know more about uh, logic. We have here uh, Stephen Reed, 
um, specialist in, um, let's say, medieval logic and so forth uh, and so on. So this, the, the people, this, if they want to know more about logic, you know, it's a very good place to come. Then we have the Congress and uh, the idea of, of, of uh, the Congress is to really uh, uh, have all aspects of logic. I like this idea to, to have all aspects of logic because logic is very, uh, there, there are very many different things. Just one minute. Well, I was looking for my cat because he is very uh, I say, jealous if I speak with other people. Huh? I mean, <laughs> so, uh, ça va bien. <laughs> and, and so, and there is a lot, of course, there are a lot of cats in Greece and so on, in, uh, in Crete and so on. Huh? So what we want is to have a very uh, nice place, very nice meeting with all these kind of people from all the world because we want to have something which is very international. I mean, we want to have something um, with participation of all people. And we succeeded in the past, of course. And I guess we will succeed again in Crete. So um, what can I say at this point? Uh, what can I say is that uh, we have, uh, we have a tutorial at the school, of course, and we have workshops at the Congress. And workshops are very important because people who are organizing a workshop uh, right now, we have uh, five workshops. I didn't have the time to put everything online. But we have workshop on uh, Lewis Carroll, on many different kind of uh, topics. And uh, so we will have a variety of people coming to Chris. So it's like a big meeting. We don't know. I mean, how many people will come? But I think it's like uh, maybe uh, 300 people, 500 people, something like that. Especially because Crete is a very nice place. So not difficult to access. Uh, everybody can come here. No? Uh, life is, is not expensive. So food is very good. I like uh, Greek food. And... Uh, um, we can we can expect that this event will be after this pandemic, no? because we have to suspend uh, we have to suspend uh, the event no? after four years. We have to spend the event four years. Wow, uh, for three years, okay, because we want to have a certain uh, timing, certain timing. So every three years, that's uh, my objective. But now we are four years, but uh, I think uh, we can, uh, three, four, four years is not a problem because you know, everybody was, because of the pandemic, everybody was stopped at some point and relaxing and so on. So I don't think that, it, that this will be a defect that, that, that it will be a negative point for you. Know. On the contrary, on the contrary, I think more people will come because, you know, after, after people staying so uh, many years, uh, I mean, so, many, so long in, uh, in their place, in their house, the people want to travel, no? Uh, they uh, want to see, for, to, to see different places. 
So I think uh, it can be this event for me increase is very important. Increase, uh, in, increase and increase. And of course, I, I'm, I'm talking about the two things because I like very much attends. So anybody can stop because there is no other way. If you want to go to Crete, you have to go through Athens. So uh, anybody is welcome to spend two or three days in Athens, which is a very beautiful town, and then go to Crete. And it's only, it's a very short trip. It's like 30 minutes to take a plane. Flying, flying from Athens to Crete. It's very short. And Hanya, there is an airport in Hanya, I don't recommend to go to Heraklion, okay. Uh, you have to understand that uh, uh, Crete is uh, Long Island. If you go to Heraklion, which is the capital, a bigger city, you are in a completely different place. And if you go, want to go by road to Heraklion to Shahania, it will, it will take you time. So there is no reason to, to arrive in Heraklion. Uh, it's better to arrive directly in Hanya. And uh, from the point of view of airlines, you can do that. And Hanya, it's, it's a city which is much, very much more beautiful than Heraklion. Because of this mixture. Uh, it's a city which was uh, changed Venetian city, but it was also invited by the Turkish and so So you have, uh, in Hanya, you have a bit of everything. Uh, people are very nice. It's a small city. You have good food. That's it. <laughs> if so, uh, sorry, because at some point I was sleeping. I'm very sorry about that because I'm working uh, all the time, but now I'm awake. <laughs> Okay, we are very happy that you are okay. Uh, so uh, now we have a time for discussion yeah. and questions. Let's see. Discussion question. So Maybe I will start because I think uh, uh, that it's interesting thing. It was in the plan uh, to talk about logical crisis, and I'm really not, uh, you know, how it is going. And can you tell us if it's like developing in how many countries and what are the results? Yeah, that's a good question. It's not easy. We are trying to do that. And it's uh, so related with, uh, it's uh, so related with uh, Logic Day, of course. With the Logic Day. So uh, then uh, it depends on the efforts of everybody. You know, so in Poland, even in Poland, which is a very uh, famous country for logic, it's not easy. Well, it's not easy like uh, in many different kinds of places, and I can explain you. Because logic is so various. So there are people working in logic who are mathematicians, there are people in logic who are uh, philosophers, there are people who are working like more linguistics, and the people have difficulty to meet together. So if, you, if we want to make a prize of logic in some place, we are, uh, how to say, we are facing these difficulties. We are completely facing these difficulties. Ioannis, who is here, he can uh, explain you, you know. In Greece, there are some people who don't, they, don't, they lack only uh, mathematical logic, and they think that history of logic is uh, stupid which is uh, completely absurd because uh, Greece is a country of uh, history of logic. So you see, Ioannis, would you want to say something? 
su microphone así ah, ok yes there is such uh, ok the, the situation uh, was dominated so to say by mathematical logicians for a long time so uh, in fact uh, this uh, start happened Uh, when uh, the famous logician Mos Yanis Moskovakis uh, returned to Greece, so he was uh, the natural leader, so to say. And uh, all the research was directed towards uh, recursive metric spaces and constructive mathematics and uh, all these uh, uh, topics. So uh, philosophers were, in fact, uh, in the margin uh, and uh, somewhere uh, did not communicate with this uh, group of mathematical logicians. Mathematical logicians could not afford them, so to say. And uh, in this case, uh, logic in Greece uh, developed only in this line. Uh, but now uh, Moskowakis is retired and Uh, the people uh, from uh, his close uh, cycle uh, are also retired. So there, are, there is a new generation of uh, logicians uh, with more wide interests uh, also in the logic and semiotics and uh, other uh, areas of logic. So I think that Universal Logic uh, Congress uh, will boost uh, this uh, research uh, in these areas and uh, can uh, help to, uh, this community here to be more uh, to, to be organized so to say in a more compact way uh, this uh, so I hope that uh, the uh, Congress of uh, on universal logic will have uh, a very significant uh, impact uh, in Greece here in the development of logic in Greece. Thank you very much. We hope so. Yes. And, uh, yeah, of course, it's, for, for me, it is uh, a, a, a really a serious question. We also have some people uh, who want to organize a Unilog in Poland, which, of course, would be good, no? <laughs> yeah. uh, if I can may say and uh, that's the situation oh, to have all this variation of people coming from different places of the world having different interests because logic I think is the most various, uh, various uh, field because we have people from mathematics we have people from philosophy we have people from linguistics we have people from, from semiotics We have people from computer science. We have all these kind of people. And it's not easy to, I, I mean, it's not easy to put all these people together because people have tendency to have some more specific uh, meeting, you know, like say logic and computer science, logic and so on and so on. And, so on. and um, I think um, this, The, the, the mixture of people of different interests of all these aspects of science for me it's one of the most interesting things so I want to promote uh, my idea since the beginning with uh, Unilog is to promote this interaction and we are succeeding to do that with uh, in particular with some workshop no? the workshops we have Uh, we have a we have a huge variety of workshop. We will have a workshop on uh, Lewis Carroll. So I think uh, Lewis Carroll is one of the most famous writers in the world, and uh, his specialty was logic. So I'm very glad to have this all this aspect at Unilog in Crete. Okay, so let me, because we have questions in the, the chat and from Jacques Rich, and I think, Jaif, it's uh, to you. What about earlier submission to the cancelled edition of the Congress? Uh, should people submit again? 
Well, this is a technical problem. Of course, we start everything uh, from uh, the beginning, but uh, if someone submitted something last year, uh, well, uh, my uh, advisor is that he can, it's better if, it's, if, he, if he's submitting again, because uh, then we, are, we will not lose this submission. Because last year we had to stop anything. So uh, maybe we can find again, uh, the, uh, probably it's not completely lost. But it's better if people submit again. Okay, thank you. And a question from Amirush Muktefi to Professor Vandulakis uh, about, uh, can you tell more about accommodation in uh, Crete? Yes, uh, the Academy has a, a hotel, a small hotel. Of course, uh, you, one can uh, uh, book a, a room in the Academy, but uh, I think that uh, the Academy will be not enough for uh, all participants uh, to live there. So when the Academy hotel will be full, uh, there would be other alternatives in near, uh, nearby hotels uh, to live. So uh, uh, I would recommend to book a, a room in the academy uh, as soon as possible, of course, when it, it will be announced uh, that we start uh, booking, uh, to avoid uh, going uh, from the academy to the hotel and, uh, and back. And uh, another uh, point uh, was about the, the, the arrival in the airport uh, during the Congress uh, on the square. We uh, had the opportunity to, uh, to uh, work with the academy and to arrange uh, some mini uh, buses that uh, waited for the participants uh, when they arrived uh, within one hour, for example, and we gathered all of them uh, who arrived uh, within a special time interval, and we got all of them uh, to the to Colimbari, to the academic building. So I think that uh, some uh, this practice will be uh, repeated now, so uh, there will be a transfer from uh, the airport uh, to the to the academy. Uh, but uh, it's uh, I, I want to emphasize also what uh, Zanif emphasized that there is another airport in the other part of Crete, which is about two or three hours by car. So it, uh, try not to go to that airport by mistake or by uh, <laughs> because it happened in the in the in the past. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so yes, despite, uh, despite the fact that Cleon uh, is also the most famous place because it's Knossos. Yes. So some people went to Knossos to meet the. The Minotaurus. <laughs> but if people want to go to they have to know about the situation. Then they have to spend some few days in Knossos to visit the, the past yes. month, which is yes. far. Uh, it's not easy to visit. But the museum in uh, the museum in Heraklion, because there is a palace of Knossos, where, where you will not see any labyrinth, because uh, this uh, palace of Knossos is, uh, has been completely destroyed. There is few things left, but there is a very beautiful museum in Heraklion. Yes, the, the, muse the museum is uh, spectacular, in fact. Yes. Spectacular. But Heraklion, no, uh, it's not a very beautiful city. And yes. uh, uh, Hanya, much, much better. So you can choose. Now what I want to say more specifically about uh, Chania, the event. Well, 
of course, if you stay at the academy, it's good, uh, especially uh, in my case as an organizer, because I am inside the place, I can uh, see what is going around, and it's much easier. But some people may want to stay in Hania because uh, in, uh, at the academy, it's like 20 kilometers from, uh, 20 kilometers from, from Hania. And uh, there is nothing. It's it's uh, like an uh, isolated, isolated place. Huh? So, and between uh, the academy and uh, Hanya, there are some hotels which are at the middle, which are not necessarily uh, expensive. And maybe I was uh, telling um, Johannes, maybe we can uh, make an arrangement with some hotel which are at the middle because it's not high season. So people can stay in a place which is not expensive and which is uh, closer to the city if people want to go out at night in the city. Because in Colin Marie, in the place of the academy, there is nothing. But that's it. I mean, uh, there is nothing. There will be the people from the Congress. So you can meet people and that's nice. And uh, the, the, the guy who is responsible from the, this conference center, because you have to understand that the, the, this academy, the Orthodox Academy of Crete, them two different things. Them, the religious place, at the same time, they have developed a big uh, conference center. And the guy who is responsible of the conference center is a very nice guy, he's very animated. So he will, he will help anybody if there is any kind of problem, if you want to need a taxi to go somewhere. He's a very nice guy. Uh, can you remember uh, his name? Yes, Antonis. Antonis, Antonis. Antonis yes. is, is, is a very nice guy. So you can uh, and, and, and and very generous. So he offers you, if you want to drink, uh, how, what's the drink? I forgot, I forgot, I forgot the name of the drink. Because in the, the, the Cretan, the Cretan drink, you mean, Chikudia. Chikudia. It's, Chikudia. Not, the, it's not the same as Uzo, but... Uh, no. <laughs> it's a different kind of drink, but uh, it's free. You can drink as much as you want. It's a bit dangerous, but, I would say. Yes, but, but don't do that. <laughs> it's not recommended to, to drink as, as much as you wish. <laughs> well, uh, and, and Julio, você que foi lá, você pode dizer sua impressão. Jair, you Sim. switch to Portuguese again. Ah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, really sorry, because I'm living in Brazil, no? Julio, uh, Julio, well, uh, you were there. What was yes, your Yes, I can tell you that's a very nice place. Uh, very nice uh, uh, infrastructure for the conference. Very good food. Huh. And I would certainly Lots stay there. Uh, very, very good food and very nice food. And I will... the the. Uh, uh, CERN Institute of Physics always uh, organize their conferences there. It's, it's such a nice center. And I will certainly stay there because if I go to a conference, I certainly want to speak and, and talk and have conversations with, with other participants. And there we are confined in that place and 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 we end up uh, having a lot of good conversations and and that's very important for future work. So I strongly advise you to stay at the uh, at the site of the of, of the conference. If I may just add, I think it was always a good idea when on the website of the Congress you updated if the information about uh, many options about uh, accommodation, you know, like a cheap hostels for students, and then, you know, uh, it's always good if something is recommended 
you know, that we will do that because uh, there is different, there is a wide range of price. Yeah. Of course, staying at the academy is not the uh, cheapest one. Your foot is not expensive also. But uh, there is a lot of uh, cheapest uh, place to stay near the academy, of course, for students. Yeah. But at the same time, I want, I want to say that uh, in the academy, we will offer a uh, strong discount for students. Ah, great. Yeah. So I'm and, sure uh, it will be appreciated. Appreciate. But uh, they have to share a room. Okay. Sure. I visit, uh, I visit everything, so I know. Perfect. I think the academy is not the cheapest, but it's worth it. Ah, okay. Tell you it's, that. It's quite cheap and uh, the rooms are nice because it's the oldest part of the building. Okay. So it's I like it. Swiss people. And, uh, and the food is cheap. And the food is good, it's cheap. So you will okay. not, uh, if you go to restaurants outside of the academy, it will be more expensive. We will f offer, especially for lunch, the idea, Johannes, the idea that we offer lunch for everybody, and it's a price, very really, uh, good price. I don't don't remember, maybe uh, 15 euros, and all you want, all you can eat, and also some wine and so on. <laughs> it's true, I, I have been there, so I cannot complain. <laughs> More questions? Uh, yeah, we have a question from uh, Chris Fogere. I'm sorry. Uh, Jaif, can you see the question in the chat? I think it's directed. Uh, uh, just one minute, because I didn't yet open the chat. Uh, and, uh, okay, so let me read the question. Yeah. Uh, Chris wrote, I'm new at this forum. I have studied Wesley Samuel and Rudolf Karnap. Long time ago, for a course I had developed on the methodology of economics in the 90s. Do you have any applications of this work to economics and social and other social sciences? Well, logic is applying to everything, so I don't think I don't see any problem, you know. And Carnap was a very famous logician, so if this guy wants to come. No, actually, sorry, because I'm speaking Portuguese. If he wants to come, if he wants to pre propose a workshop, that's fine. He can do what he wants. And we are, we are open, we are completely open to have this kind of situation because uh, in Vichy, we had, a, we had a tutorial, a workshop, I don't remember, on politics. Yeah. economics politics we are, we had that yeah. so it's part of uh, our it's completely part of our events yeah i also remember in turkey in istanbul there was about you know also political science and uh, reasoning yeah voting even yeah yeah it was already uh, yeah and the information about past uh, all the past tutorials are available online and then, okay. Yeah, and we also had some event about religion, uh, colors, psychology, okay. music. Music, there was many, yeah. So that's, that's uh, our idea. Okay. Are there... Uh -huh. More questions. Ah, Professor, yeah, I, I would like to add uh, about uh, Hanya and all the, that uh, we will organize probably a new, an excursion to Hanya and to the old uh, harbor and the Venetian uh, city and uh, the Venetian town of Hanya. So uh, in any case, uh, everybody will have uh, the opportunity to visit Hanya and to visit uh, of these places uh, where uh, you, you saw in the PowerPoints. Uh, and, but okay, you, you, uh, you can also uh, organize uh, possibly outside the Congress some uh, uh, excursions, uh, for example, to Heraklion, to Knossos Palace. Uh, this is 
a little bit difficult to organize for uh, all the participants of the Congress, because if the participants of the Congress will be about 200, let's say, people, uh, we have to, 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 to arrange with uh, four buses. Uh, somebody can be, could be lost in Heraklion, and uh, okay, there are uh, some problems uh, in this kind of organization, but and uh, this needs uh, a whole day. Uh, you cannot uh, go on back in the same day. It's very tiring because it's like if, uh, yes, yes, yes. Five, uh, five hours of cars and then it's far. Yes. But in small groups, it could be probable, it, uh, it could be possible to go to these uh, uh, places. I think it's better to organize this after the event because, you know, when yes, I was. Yes. There was this big uh, Congress of Philosophy in Athens, uh, in Istanbul, sorry, in Istanbul. And then uh, there were some uh, travel organized after uh, the event. Because, we, you know, uh, in, in Turkey, then we go down to all this uh, famous uh, Greek city. And this, uh, it was about one week of travel. So I think it's better to plan to organize something, we can uh, make this proposal. People can come before or after, if they want yes. to greet. And by the way, uh, you remember that uh, last time I was there, unfortunately, we didn't succeed to visit uh, Plato's cave. <laughs> well, uh, uh, exactly. So next time I will, uh, I, I will go there. <laughs> Okay. We don't know where it is, but it's a re remote place. It's quite remote, and nobody knows exactly what it is. There is no tourist uh, visit. Uh, yeah, it's difficult of access, no? No. More or less. No, no, but it's, it's not. It's not a touristic uh, place. It's not a yeah. touristic destination, so to say. Because you you took me to another place, uh, another cave, and you see where well, it's good because uh, it's also the place where Zeus was born. By the, uh, Zeus was born in uh, both caves. Huh? <laughs> now I want to see the other one. The other one. Yes, there are two interpretations about the birthplace of Zeus. So say you visited one. Yeah, the one I visited, it was very nice. Yes. But I don't think it was a Plato's cave. <laughs> the other one is, uh, maybe the other one is, a, is the access, which is more difficult. Maybe, yes. Yeah. They have not to be in there. Yes. It's on the other side of the island, and uh, there is no easy road. Okay. More okay. questions? Yeah, yeah, we have a question from Luigi Butti. Are already known the subject of the Congress in Crete? The it, subject okay. of, yeah. The subject of the Congress? Yeah. That's a nice question. But the subject of the Congress is logic in all its aspects. So that's it. We, we will have some workshop specialized in such or such thing. But it's very open. So uh, let me explain better because many people, uh, most of the time people don't understand. So in, uh, we have some workshops. It was not the case in, uh, in Montreux. The first edition, there were no, no workshop. I, I, uh, then I decided to have some workshop just uh, because, why? Because it's easier to have some people who are helping with the organization and people may want to have some new ideas. So we have some workshop on music, we have some workshop on colors. So it's uh, kind of open. Now, if someone, and, and this is very important that people maybe don't understand, if someone don't want to participate to workshop, he can just send an abstract to the conference. And then what we do? Uh, besides the workshops, we will have about 20 workshops. 
besides the workshop, we have session, session, and she uses this word, and we classify the session in some thematic, uh, if, in relatively with what we receive. But uh, it's open. I mean, someone, if someone wants to make a, a submission of an abstract, it does not, there is no obligation to submit to workshop. Maybe I have to make this my, uh, better, uh, better, uh, better known. You know, anybody can submit um, article, uh, um, uh, something which is related to logic. And then we organize a session relatively to this. So half of the Congress is workshop, which are more determined, the determined and half of the Congress are session where we try to gather different together people who are working in something which is uh, similar. Yeah, and workshop are part of the school and uh, session. Oh, no, uh, uh, not, no, no, not all this is not part of the school. It's, uh -huh. part, of the, it's part of the Congress. Ah, uh -huh. yes, yeah, school is tutorials. School is tutorial. Okay. Okay, so maybe it's just, you know, uh, to clarify that there is no uh, separate team for uh, each Congress. It's always, you know, uh, general, yeah? That yeah, is, that it, yeah. yeah, like you have a team for Congresses and con uh, conferences, yeah? Usually uh, this is around the one topic, so here it's always, uh, I also would find it uh, hard to find a topic if it's about logic, you can submit it, yeah? Yeah, any any topic related to logic is welcome. And uh, as you were talking about, we have now the logic prize. So this is an attraction because uh, we are people uh, in Vichy, we had, about, we had nine uh, people, uh, competitors, nine. So it was a good start, but uh, in Crete, uh, probably we will have 20. Yeah, sure. If you want to compete. <laughs> 20. <laughs> that, yeah. we, we have some proposals for workshop already on oh, yeah. proofs, on argumentation, on refutation. Already five workshop. Yes. I have no time to put everything online, but we already have five workshops. Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, it was very important, uh, uh, despite the fact that I was a bit uh, tired, I was a bit sleepy, <laughs> but uh, for me, it was very important to organize this meeting one year in advance, because uh, things are going uh, very quickly. We had this pandemic, and now I am. I will. I would like to take this opportunity that the, that in one year we everybody knows that there will not be any pandemic in Greece. So we want to really organize this event, which is a very beautiful place and the big, uh, the biggest uh, uh, maybe the biggest unilog we already did because uh, in Vichy. Istanbul was already a great success. You, you remember, no? Istanbul was a great success, especially because we had a lot, we had a lot of people from Turkey, uh, Turkish people uh, taking part of the meeting in, in Istanbul, you remember. So we had a lot of local people uh, taking part to the event. The people were very animated and there was a lot of uh, cats also in the university. No? <laughs> and then, and then in Crete, I think it will be the same. We will, we will have a lot of people, I hope so, from Crete, from Greece, taking part. So, and uh, Crete is a nice location. It's a, so uh, I believe that uh, this event in Crete will be a great success. And we are working on that. Yeah. And uh, each time, more, we have a better organization now, as you were saying at the beginning, 
I am, de I am developing the Logica Universalist Association. So we are, each time more, we have contact with people from all over the world. Uh, we will have people, uh, what was very good in Istanbul, and maybe in, maybe in, uh, in Greece, it will be a bit more difficult because of your opinion. But in Istanbul, people who were coming from uh, Russia, Iran, they didn't need any visa in Turkey. Now in Crete, uh, in Greece, not so easy. But in Istanbul, we have all these people from the East, and for them, it was very easy to come to Turkey. But I think yeah, at the same time, it will be a kind of continuation because people from Turkey, I think they will come. People from Russia also. What do you think, Yohannes? Yes, I think from Russia they will come. And uh, from India, there is no problem in any case. Uh, in some problem, in, uh, I remember some problems we had uh, with uh, scholars from India. I contacted the embassy then and uh, they gave visa uh, uh, easily. And people from Turkey? I think, yes. I, Turkey now has a, a, current, a currency problem, in fact. Yeah, but maybe. Like, yes. They were to Istanbul, we also had to uh, have visas. Yeah. They need visa, of yeah. course. They need, they, yeah. So, you know, but it was easy to do, so. Yeah. Not always a problem, yeah. Okay. Do we have more questions? Uh, Th those who need uh, an invitation to get a visa, please send us the request so that you, we could uh, prepare an invitation uh, to be used uh, for the embassy to get a visa. I I don't see any more questions. So let me thank you very much to uh, Professor Vandulakis, Professor Brazil, to Ante very much for this um, technical support. Perfect, and thank you all for attending uh, this uh, uh, webinar, and I hope to uh, see you in Crete or during a uh, next webinar. Take care, and let's hope this uh, Unilook will be the biggest one and maybe, you know, the most celebrated and happy just because, yeah. We will meet in a beautiful place in a, a very different 